So let's first analyze this problem. And what we have here is we have a bank who is experiencing a deficit, and that is bank XYZ. Bank XYZ is a deficit unit. And then we have bank B. which is a surplus unit. Okay? And bank XYZ is going to sell bond with a nominal value. So let's draw the bond here. It's bond. And these bonds have a nominal value of 4 million rand. Right, so bank XYZ in the first leg is going to sell these bonds to bank B and it's going to sell it at the market price. And we also provide that market price, so it's the market price on the date of the first leg which is 99.5 rand percent. Right, so that is the first leg. Right, and then in the second leg of the repurchase transaction, bank XYZ is going to buy back these bonds from bank B. So the bonds are going to go back to bank XYZ and then bank XYZ is going to pay the amount that was paid in the first leg, which we now call N, plus interest at the repo rate for the number of days. Right, so let's first in section A you are asked to calculate the consideration in the first leg of the transaction. Now you're going to use the, here, here we have the formulas for the repurchase agreement, you're going to use the formula to calculate the market value of the instruments because that is the amount that bank XYZ will receive in the first leg. So I'm going to write that down. The market value of the instruments, which in this case are the bonds, is equal to the nominal value of the underlying instrument, which we now know is this 4 million, times the all-in price of the instrument, which was written down there, 99.5 rand percent. So you say, 4 million times the all in price 99,5 rand percent or 0,995. Where does that come from? Because it's 99,5 divided by 100. Right. So if you do that calculation using your calculator, you're going to get to an amount of 3,980,000 Rand. So that will be the amount that Bank XYZ will receive from Bank B in the first leg of this transaction when it sells the bonds to Bank B.